I brought you into my kitchen today because I wanted to ask you if you ever stop and think about God. Sometimes we think about God and he's so great and so good that we can't even understand who he is. Here's what the psalmist says in Psalm 145, 145. He says, great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. That means that God's greatness, his goodness, is something that is even bigger than we can understand. So I wanted you to come into my kitchen today so that I could show you something that might help you understand how great God is. I had an egg that I cooked ahead of time and I opened up my egg and I had all of these things in it. This is the shell of the egg, okay? And then I took the shell off and this is the white of the egg. And this is the yolk of the egg. So I started this this lesson with one egg, right? And the shell is the egg, the white is the egg, and the yolk is the egg. But it was still just one egg. So thinking about that, think about who we know God is. God is the Father who created us. God is the Son Jesus, who saved us from our sins by dying on the cross for us. And God is the Holy Spirit who keeps us in our faith. Do we have three gods? No, we have three in one. We have one God, just like we have one egg. So today, as you're thinking, about how great God is, think about how he can be the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's pray about that. Lord, you are our God. You are Father. You are Son. You are the Holy Spirit. Thank you for your greatness, even when we can't always understand it. In Jesus' name, amen.